Well, guys, the the day is finally here. Uh, if you've seen the title, and I'm sure you've seen this other places, Roger Craig Smith, as of today, is no longer the official voice of Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, this is not a scripted video. This is just going to be kind of rambly, my thoughts on what this means, uh, why this happened, what happened. Yeah, so I feel like I should start off by simply reading the tweet and showing it on screen. It says, Well, 10 years was an amazing run. Onward to new zones. Much love to the fans who have been so kind. It's been an honor. And then there's a picture of a broken blue heart. Now, um, some of you who have read the title maybe are a bit, uh, not too happy with it. Because, well, we don't have any evidence that he was fired. And that's true. If you simply read the tweet, it could read like someone who has simply parted ways on their own terms, and this was a mutual thing. The broken blue heart, on the other hand, leads me to believe that this was not done by his own choice. That if he had it his way, he would have stayed and continued voicing Sonic. Now, for me, I'm very interested to find out, because eventually we will find out, what happened because say what you will about, you know, Sega changing their voice actors and your opinions on, on it and how, how often they do it and your, how you feel about it. But there's always a reason. For instance, Jason replaced Ryan because it was cheaper to use the four kids voice cast and it created more brand synergy. Roger replacing Jason, this was never confirmed, but my thought process on it was always Jason's games, pretty much none of them were well received by critics, and Colors was kind of their attempt at hitting the reset button on the series, which included a new voice cast. Now with this, I feel like depending on who the next voice actor is, we may know why fairly soon. That being said, I don't know when we're going to find it out. Uh, possibly March, possibly South by Southwest, but I don't know. I saw a tweet that said something to the effect of, um, this news means that the next Sonic game is likely going into the localization process now. My big fear is something I've seen online is basically that either A, they're going the route of having Sonic just not talk to try and make him more like classic Sonic. Now, I don't know if I necessarily believe that. One, because there's a new show coming out, and I don't know, what, are you going to make it like Tom and Jerry? Like, that works for like a three to five minute YouTube short, but that really doesn't work for a long form show. So, I feel like if they're going to have him talk there, they wouldn't just have him not talk in the games. And the other thing I've seen is that basically the, the main series of Sonic is not doing so hot. So, this may be them just kind of transitioning to, mo to uh, mobile games. And, I hope that's not the case. I hope that this isn't just them going like, well, we don't need a voice actor if all he's in is like these endless runners and these things. Now again, I don't know if I believe that either. I do think we're probably gonna get a new game for the the thirtieth. Um, but these are just things I've seen. These are these are my fears. I don't know how well founded they are, but these are simply things I'm worried about. Now this has led to the topic of who's going to replace him. You know what's what's next for the series. And there are a couple different things, because I feel like something we have always discounted is that. There's never been a time where the voice cast has changed, where that hasn't led to other major changes in the series. For some of us, it may seem like the change from Ryan to Jason was less dramatic, and I still believe that, but it was still dramatic. You know, that was when we got our first spinoff, you know. Sonic kind of went more into that darker, grittier direction. Like, the darkness was there for the first two adventures, but not nearly as much, and especially wasn't there in Heroes. Whereas, from Jason to Roger, it was a complete flip. You know, that was when the gameplay changed. Because even in Unleashed, it still had some adventure elements. It had hub worlds. You know, the uh, the Werehog was a lot more platforming focused. Whereas uh, Colors was just your boosting. There's 2D, there's Wisps. You know, Sonic's making jokes. Nothing's really taken that seriously. And the story is a lot less important. Which, again, I think was intentional. I think Colors was their attempt to go, all these reviewers are yelling at us about the things we've been doing with modern Sonic. So let's just take it back. But with here, it's an interesting case because, well, also, I feel like I should say, because I, I don't know if I've said this on the channel before, but 
I believe it was incredibly disrespectful to get rid of Jason right before the 20th anniversary, because at that point, he had been the longest-running Sonic voice actor. I think if they were going to replace him, they should have at least waited until after that. Let him, let that kind of be his goodbye. Not, you know, Black Knight, which I love Black Knight, but I think Generations would have been a more fitting send-off. And I do, and you know, as much as I've, you know, I don't really like Roger's performance as Sonic, I do think that he should have been granted that courtesy as well. I think it's, I don't think it's cool that they just kind of, literally during Sonic's 30th anniversary, which is this year, just kind of shot him out. I don't know why that is. Um, I think that's kind of not cool. But there are a couple possibilities, one of which I've seen. There's the big one, which I'll get to in a second, we all know what it is, but is that they're bringing back Ryan for the Sonic Adventure remake, which everyone suspects is going to happen. Maybe, I will say, one thing I was dreading about the Adventure remake was hearing Roger say Ryan's lines, which this video is not meant to be like a, you know, a bad thing on Roger. I told you this isn't scripted, so bad thing is the best I can come up with hit piece, I don't know. Um, but that's just, that's my thoughts on it. I did not want to hear Roger saying Ryan's lines from Adventure. So, getting him back would be cool. Although, him and Sega, if, uh, if you read the story, or if you look back on it, I'm sure there's, like, videos on it, and I suggest you do, him and Sega did not leave on good terms. Now, Grant, he is very active in the fan base, so, you know, depending on what they offered him, he might come back, maybe, but I don't know. And then there's the big possibility. Ben Schwartz. Now, a lot of people are saying, oh, Ben Schwartz, he's a movie guy, you know, he's, he's, he wouldn't do it. <laughs> Guys, I don't know, if you own the Sonic Blu-ray like I do, his name isn't even on the box. Like, not, not to say that he has no star power, but I don't think he's above doing a video game, especially since he does, like, a lot of animated stuff. And especially when you look at the fact that they're doing a new Sonic cartoon and the Sonic movie sequel's coming out. If you had him voicing Sonic in all things, that would create... That'd be like what we had back during the 4Kids era, but like on steroids, because there's also a movie. And I think if that if the news comes out that it's Ben Schwartz, then we know why they're not using Roger. We know it's because they want to use Schwartz. Because part of me wondered... Jason was likely let go due to the fact that his games weren't doing well and they wanted to get a new, fresh take on it. Is it a similar thing for Roger? Because Forces wasn't received well, Boom wasn't received well, and Team Sonic Racing is kind of lukewarm. Um, although, I don't think that's the case simply because I think if they were going to get rid of Roger due to a poor critical reception... I mean, Sonic Boom, like, imploded their company. I mean, people lost their jobs over that. Like, it was bad. So I feel like if a if bad game reception was, was what got Roger canned, it would have come from Boom, not Forces. So, I think it's safe to say that's not what it was. Now, if they don't have Schwartz, I don't know. I don't know what, what it is that got it changed. And, and I think we'll learn eventually, but only time will tell. It's possible that once again they're just hitting the reset button and they want to take the series in a new direction and Roger just doesn't fit that direction. Now, before I leave off this video, I want to say that I'm sure if you've been following me for some time now, you know I've never been a big fan of Roger's portrayal of Sonic. However, that being said, I wanted to make it clear that those criticisms were never meant to be personal attacks. And this morning when I saw the news that many would think I should be happy about, my feelings were actually kind of mixed. While I've never been a fan of him as Sonic, I also understand that he loved doing it, and that there were plenty of fans who loved him as Sonic. And one of the saddest parts is that he never really got the chance to be in a game with competent writing. Roger's not a bad actor, far from it. I've loved him in other stuff, and I feel like the rare moments where he got to give an actual serious performance as Sonic were actually not all that bad. It just sucks that those moments were so few and far between. If I were to say where my feelings have ultimately fallen sometime later, I would say that I'm more curious than anything. Again, Roger leaving indicates big changes, and I'm excited, and also a tad worried to see what those changes are. But until then, I just want to say thank you to Roger for being the voice of one of my favorite game characters and for being such a positive force in the community. And I hope your future projects treat you well. But anyway, let me know your thoughts on this news in the comments below. Be sure to leave a like, start subscribing, help grow the channel. And I promise there will be new videos coming your way soon. But until then, I hope you all have a good one, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.